Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. Very grateful to be here today to provide some assistance on your journey. Um, there are some very exciting things going on right now. Um, today we want to discuss what's going on in Dreamtime. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's been a lot of activity in Dreamtime recently. And if you haven't noticed that, um, be prepared. That's all I'm going to say going forward. Um, so in Dreamtime, there is so much going on that it is it has been really hard for us to bring that experience back with us. And um, this is done on purpose a lot of the times. You can go in Dreamtime and then try to come back and your team will wipe you consciously. So, um, and basically that's because the information is meant to be retained on a subconscious level and is sort of going to be working behind the scenes to benefit you spiritually in what you are trying to accomplish. Another reason is that the experience you're having in Dreamtime differs so greatly from the normal reality that we're used to that your mind can't process and put together the images enough to explain what you experienced. So you know you had these vivid dreams, you know you were going on this grand adventure and doing a lot of stuff, but um, you can't really process what you experienced and so you don't really recall the dream and you can't put together what you what you saw what you did and where you were um, so I just want to let you know that that's going to change and you're going to start retaining these experiences you're going to start bringing them back into your waking reality so that you can then apply the experience that was gained to benefit your life um, pretty much so expect some changes there and I just want to let you know that your team is working very hard behind the scenes with the goal of giving you more options in your dream time and more options what do you mean so there might be an opportunity to lucid dream astral projection um, remote viewing different out-of-body experiences um, life reviews, Akashic Record reviews, all sorts of things that are possible in Dreamtime that we're not really um, able to experience until that little piece of our DNA is activated and returned back to us. So in the future, there's going to be a lot of content from me based around lucid dreaming and astral projection and doing different stuff in Dreamtime. But today, I want to focus on popping out of the body and having a remote viewing experience and what to look for and how to make that happen for you. I want to let you know right now that the opportunity exists in a very high potential to make that happen for you. Um, if you've been working on this for a long time and maybe gave up, it's time to get back into it. It's time to set your expectation and um, allow these things to come to you because you know um, like I said before maybe that piece of your DNA that allowed you that access wasn't uh, prepared or ready for you yet but things have changed and things are different now and a lot of this stuff that we maybe tried and failed at energetically are it's time to just start trying again um, pretty much so Keep that, in, keep that in mind as we go forward that there are certain opportunities available to you primed and ready to experience. So, remote viewing. We are not meant to simply fall into a dream and then wait back up again and then repeat the cycle. It is very important for us, old souls and light workers to develop our ability to choose our experience and your spiritual team is 100 percent fully on board with this and they understand that you have the desire to pop out of this spacesuit and walk around once in a while if you choose so um, so the remote viewing and leaving the body can happen very easily right now and so much so that a lot of people are doing it by accident or they're entering the the beginning stages of leaving the body and then retreating back to the body when they experience something that's unfamiliar 
but I want to show you, teach you how to get comfortable with that experience to the point where you don't pop right back in. Um, I don't know if you've ever had an experience where you feel like, well, you're about to fall asleep, but then suddenly you feel like you're falling. Um, so that is basically your, your energy body or your astral body um, separating itself from the vibration and the function of the physical body. But the key is to educate yourself on what this experience is to the point where you illuminate the, the uncertainty with knowledge that allows you to know what to look for and know what the, the signal is when that separation happens so that you can get out and walk around a little. So I want to give you some tips on how to do this and what to look for. So obviously you're going to want to do this most of the time while you're in bed um, going to sleep for the night. Um, you can do it in your everyday meditations or whatever you want to do, but uh, most of us are so busy that the only opportunity we have to, to try this stuff is at night. Um, so that's when I do it. So what you want to do to induce this experience is lay down on your back, flat, arms to your side, and you just want to turn your intention and your focus to the vibration of your body and the frequencies that it's carrying. And also noticed, also noticed the, the organs working, the, the fluids flowing, tune in with the, the waters of the body and how they all work together and how the divine design has allowed you the opportunity to walk around and experience this suit in such a profound way. And if you can maintain this sort of state of gratitude and appreciation for this vessel, you will get so in tune with the vibrations and the frequencies that um, you start to feel like your whole bed is shaking, basically. You are, you have amplified the sensations of the functionality of this vessel to the point where all of these different things that you're sensing are over the top exaggerated. So once we do this for a little while, naturally we're going to start to rise up and separate from our body. And this is where most people get stuck and this is where most people jump back in. This is where that feeling of falling happens. And um, it's really easy to get over once you realize what's happening. Um, but the, the feeling of dropping happen, happens more in, uh, in the state of about to fall asleep. It's just that the astral body has jumped out a little early, so you notice it more. And it's more of a dramatic falling feeling. But what we want to do um, with, our, with our training as meditators is to maintain a conscious state to the point where we can get that sensation of separating from our body without the instant drop feeling. Um, so what you're going to do is, so, so what you're going to notice when that separation starts to happen, the the vibration and all those things that you were admiring and appreciating about your body start to just slowly quiet themselves and fade away to the point where um, they're almost muted and not there because you've obviously separated. Now getting to this point is the trickiest part because your natural reaction is to get really excited and that's just going to um, make you jump back into the body. Because keep in mind that you're always tethered to your body and you could never travel any distance through any amount of time and space that would separate you from this body. You're tethered. Um, and that is by design because this opportunity and this experience is available to you and planned for. Um, so why we might as well unlock it and start using this tool. So. When we get to the point where we separate from our body, you're going to want to uh, maintain your focus the best you can. And this will allow you to 
rise up and separate yourself and get familiar in that energy and that new uh, vibrational experience in the environment so that you can so that you can maintain the choice to go back in or continue and go somewhere else but my advice to you initially for the first few times of this you just want to stay in stay put pretty much um, observe your environment look at your body uh, move around your home uh, doing this thing doing the the calibration process is very important because if you get too excited and try to try to move around too soon um, you're just gonna naturally fall back into your body and so let's say you jump out and you want to instantly shoot up into the sky well the most likely thing that's gonna happen is that you're you're going to merge back into your body as if you were waking up from a dream um, so it's it's very hard to maintain that state of being if you aren't concentrated and focused on staying there. So take it slow, uh, be calm, cool, and collected in your approach and in your execution of this skill. And keep in mind that you have plenty of time to explore and move around and interact with other people's higher selves or our ancestors and loved ones that have come and gone or the overseers who are watching and helping maintain this reality and its integrity. Um, there's so much potential there that it's worth the initial patience to eventually get to that payoff of um, receiving knowledge and opportunity and uh, being consciously aware enough and um, stable enough energetically to bring it back with you when you do decide to return to the body. But one thing I meant to touch on at the beginning of this video, but didn't, um, is your level of success in having these dreamtime experiences, whether it be astral projection, lucid dreaming, or remote viewing, is very based on how you were energetically throughout your day. So let's say you have a very stressful day. At the end of the day, you want to wind down and go to bed. Instead of going out and doing all this fun stuff, you're going to spend your time repairing your energy, um, plugging holes in your aura caused by anger, frustration, or whatever the, the lower dimensional experience was that day. So it's extra motivation to be mindful of how you spend your time and uh, put a little extra effort into being in a place of unconditional love and non-judgment for all that you come across on your path here and also the, the environment and experiencing uh, experience that you're having. So thank you very much for watching this video. That'll be it for today. Hope this assisted you in pursuing your goals spiritually. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have donated. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm in the process of transitioning out of my day job into a role where I can do this full time, um, which is very exciting to, 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 to think about going forward. Um, but it will allow me to make videos every day, branch out to other platforms, and also other um, offer other services to you guys going forward. So thank you very much, and have a good night. Goodbye.